these veterans that we honor today. Most of us do not like to be called heroes. Most veterans don't prefer that name. After taking the oath of the military to protect the Constitution against all enemies, foreign, domestic, veterans served in wartime and peacetime. That commitment, whether in wartime or peacetime, is still supreme for our nation, for its continuation, its democracy, and what it means to us. Even those who went into the military and never had to serve perhaps overseas, still involved unusual and personal sacrifices, leaving home and family, and undergoing, undergoing grueling challenges. Veterans cannot predict when they will be called upon for extraordinary sacrifice. No veteran with common sense starts out to earn a valor award intentionally. Such circumstances are thrust upon the veteran. The act of courage and bravery starts with a solemn oath, respect for training, and lastly, accepting the mission. There are veterans standing here today who showed extraordinary courage and valor above and beyond the call of duty. Those horrific circumstances fell upon them. In spite of fear, they reacted before their unit and its mission. Bravery is never summoned up for personal vanity, media coverage, or personal gain. I was no hero. But many of us served with veterans who showed extraordinary gallantry. There are such decorated heroes here today, and I hope you will meet and talk to all of them. I can look in your eyes, and we know that we are veterans. I ask all of you to address a veteran before you leave here today. Please give special greetings to those who were America's greatest generation. Last of all, I ask that we whisper a prayer for peace, whisper a silent prayer for peace for all of our veterans.